There's something in your eyes, babe It's telling me you won't be baby Tonight is your night Oh, yeah so You don't have to ask for nothing I'll give you everything you need So, girl, don't be shy Baby, just Baby, come Okay guys, so the material that we're going to be using is the lace wig cap and the crochet needle. And the crochet hair that I'm using is the ringlet one curl in a 2 and a 99J. I um, used about three packs of this hair. I purchased one pack of the 99J and two packs of the number 2. Here I'm just showing you guys my looping method. Um, it's pretty much explanatory and I'm leaving a lot of space in between because I'm going to pull these curls apart but when you get to the front you want to start putting them closer together because you want it to look full and this will be a good way to not use so much hair because I remember I used to do these crochet wigs when I first started and I would buy all this hair and had like a pack of hair left and you take it to the beauty supply store and they don't want to give you your money back they just want to tell you okay yeah you can get a store credit i don't want a store credit i want my t run me my 10 because that was 9.99 yeah i don't know how y'all feel about y'all duckies but yeah i need mine <laughs> anyway um yeah just keep going with the same method um all the way up until you feel comfortable with the burgundy and black hair as much as you want again is this is totally up to you um and then just start packing in the black hair or if you want to do it all burgundy and black hey okay guys i'm all done with putting the crochet hair in for now i will come back and fill in those open spaces you see in the front right there but for now i am going to flip the wig over and add more combs to the wig cap just so i can make sure that the wig is very secure So I added about three combs to the front of the wig. The comb that is in the middle going across the lace will be my stopping point for when I cut the lace down the middle. So we'll be making something like a U-part wig. I was going to use the lace part but it was just too wide and the part just wouldn't look realistic. Okay guys so now we're going to cut the lace down the middle. Um, I like I said before we are going to stop at that middle comb where it ends um, the lace was actually longer than that I just decided to stop it there because it was going to be too long it's going to look crazy so now I'm going to go back and fill in those gaps with more crochet hair to make it thick and full and it also be covering up that extra lace that we didn't cut but the lace that we did cut, you want to make sure we cut all of that lace off because there will be some lace hanging over the edge of the wig cap. Okay guys, this is my braiding pattern. It's not the best braids and that's only because I'm tender headed. But it's like ever since I went natural, my scalp got really sensitive. So it's like I'm even more tender headed than I was before. Here I'll be crocheting the hair to the front two braids so it can give the illusion that it's not a wig. Here I am going to be doing a totally different method from what I did um, on the wig. I'm going to attempt. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to um, do the invisible part. So I would just like take when I'm doing the loop I would take one uh, portion of the hair through and just loop one side if that makes any sense so hopefully the video is accommodating for my shortcomings on how I'm explaining this so now let's just try the wig on So the hair did let me add a little heat to it. I just wanted the hair to be stretched out a little bit more. 
maybe I was trying to be a little extra but it came out pretty good and right here I am just gonna be picking out these curls not actually picking them out but pulling them apart please don't pick it out <laughs> And this is the finished look. I'm still kind of picking out the curls a little bit, but yeah, I'm feeling these curls. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and comment in the box below. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And happy belated Valentine's Day to all of my watchers. Baby,